Hi, welcome to the Blanton's Art Where You Are studio. I'm Monique O'Neill, museum educator for Family and Community Programs. Today, we're going to make a work of art inspired by artist Tadasuke Kuayama. Japanese op artist Tadasuke Kuayama dedicated his artistic career to geometric forms, particularly the circle. Tadasuke worked almost exclusively in concentric rings on square canvases, like this work in the Blanton's permanent collection titled C109. By adjusting colors and widths, Tadasuke caused color to appear to fluctuate and his circles to pop off the canvas. His captivation with the shape led him to create a special rotating turntable-like wheel with which to paint perfect circles. To make your work, you'll need the following items. Lazy Susan, paper towel, variety of colored paints, and flat bristle paintbrushes. I took inspiration from the special rotating turntable Tadasuke used to create his art, and I'm gonna paint directly on a wooden Lazy Susan as my canvas. I thought this was a fun way to explore Tadasuke's skillful technique of painting concentric circles. You wanna start off by first painting your Lazy Susan with a white paint or gesso. This will help prime the surface, so the next layer of colors doesn't soak into the wood as you paint. Since we're following a simple circle form, choice of paint colors and width of brushes is where you can play with your creativity. Our featured artwork has three colors, but for my piece, I've decided to use six and keep all my brushes the same width. Once you're ready to paint, the method is simple. Hold your paintbrush in one spot as you slowly spin the Lazy Susan. Artist tip. If using more than three colors, try changing your color order as you move to the center of the circle, creating an unpredictable color sequence with your rings. The idea is not to get perfectly painted circles, but to better understand and appreciate the skill and process Tadasuke used to create his optical art. And there you are, your very own Tadasuke Kuayama inspired work of art. What will you choose to title your painting? If you'd like to share what you made today with the Blanton, tag us with at Blanton Museum and use hashtag art where you are. I hope you enjoyed making today with the Blanton's Art Where You Are studio. If you'd like to learn more about the artist and work of art featured today, please click on the link below to find our list of resources. And you can stay up to date with the Blanton by joining our e-news list at blantonmuseum.org slash subscribe and find more activities and resources to museum from home at blantonmuseum.org slash museum from home.